So just as a little bit of a review, we have the, the visual problems. And the first one is talking about uh, what's the sign of delta S for the system and for the formation of frost on the window pane in image B. Okay, so living in California, you probably haven't seen this happen too often, but when does frost actually form on a window? It happens when it's really cold. There's a formula that would be applicable for the frost forming on the window. It's happening from the water vapor in the air condensing and not only condensing but solidifying right on the window and in this case it very clearly means that something that was a gas and free to move around is now on the window pane and not moving around at all so the delta s of the system must have gone down it's a negative it would have to be negative for delta s because Products minus reactants, that has less, this has more, I'm subtracting more from less, I've got a negative sign. What we do know, just from living, is that this would not be spontaneous during the summer in Merced. So not spontaneous at high temperature. Now we're going to look at image H. Now this is a neutralization reaction between antacid tablets and stomach acid. It said it's sodium bicarbonate. Now that's the old wording. We would normally now say sodium hydrogen carbonate. And they said stomach acid, hydrochloric acid. And both of these are aqueous. What's going to happen? Well, we're gonna have some stuff be switching what it's applied to. We'll take the sodium and combine it with the chloride and that will be aqueous because everything is still aqueous. And then I would say initially that I was forming carbonic acid, but carbonic acid is not stable. So it would continue from here to decompose into water and carbon dioxide. And that's the source of the bubbles that you see right here are those are carbon dioxide bubbles coming up out of the solution as it happens. Now, it says from all that, I'm supposed to come up with the sign, whether it's positive or negative, of delta S. Well, this was aqueous, remember, to begin with. And this was aqueous to begin with. And now I'm creating, well, a liquid, so what? I'm also creating a gas. Oh, here, this is aqueous, right? Because this is still with us. I just took this last part and said, what happened to it? It continued to have something happen. So ultimately I'm saying two aqueous things combined and gave me an aqueous, a liquid, and a gas. Oh, gas has a lot more freedom of motion. So delta S here of the system must have gone up for the, react the, the reaction. Your products have more entropy than your reactants did. So. It's always products minus reactants, so I must have a positive. And one more of these. Number three. They're going to mix A and C to create E. And it wants to know, did the entropy increase, decrease, or remain unchanged? These were separated, and they were each in their own container. This container looks like it's bigger than either of these. And these things are mixed so I would say that that looks more chaotic, and I would say that the entropy must have gone up. But just in general, whenever you have a situation where you have mixing, your entropy is going to go up. 